Hey Arnie. How you going mate? We're out at Lake Tarawera. Finally mate. Finally. It's been what? Eight months in the making. <laughs> and what, what are we fishing today? The uh, little two and a half inch uh, slim swims. Nice. Little Z-mans. Which been, one have you got on? I've got the two and a half inch um, midnight oil. Right. And we've been here what? Ten minutes? Yeah. And we're already, uh, already onto them. Jeez, and it had a couple. It had like three goes at it, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was so they went put off, were they? Contemplating changing to a heavier jig weight, mm. and uh, just holding my rod out the side and got a few hits, and then uh, yeah, gave it a strike and missed, and then he came right at the. You beguiled him in, mate. Softly, softly technique. It's softly, softly. Don't wanna, don't wanna drop him just yet. Nice. Well, I better, I'll have to go and get the bloody net, mate. Yeah. I'm so impressed. That is such a fat little fish. Yeah, that's the only... Like the Tansui rod is pretty long, so you have to take that into account. But that's beautiful, mate. That's a fat little fish. We're down 30 metres. Well, the uh, fish are down 30 metres. And they are biting. That little tiny weeny, you got a shrooms on there? Uh, yeah, I've got the little shrooms on. So I've shrooms jig head. One, 120. With a motor oil slim swims. And I think, it, yeah, so 120th, did you say? 120th yeah, 120 ounce. Yeah. Jeez, wow. That is tiny. Just get them out of this net. Are you keeping them? Uh, we'll chuck this one back, eh? Okay. I'll just give you a... There's a... Nice. Little bait right there. Beautiful. That is awesome, mate. Fat little fish, isn't it? That is very nice. So yeah, he took it three times. Hey, buddy. Get that hook out. Beautiful. And, uh... Arnie, on got again. another one on, mate. <laughs> and what? It's about another seven or eight minutes later. Yeah, I was trying to actually. I was trying to cook a coffee. I boil some water for a coffee, eh? How annoying is that? You can't even have a coffee. I know. I'm trying to hold my rod with one hand, give it a twitch, check check my water. Yeah. And then um, hook up again. Well, the uh, leave it alone technique really is looking like it's um, pretty much the way. Yo, I wasn't really leaving it alone. I was uh, just I... Fe feeding line out and giving it a the odd little twitch while in yeah. the water boil. But well, whatever it is, mate, you're doing a good job. Yeah. And that, uh, you said it was a little fish, and then it smoked away a bit, so <laughs> we don't know line. now. So, yeah. But yeah, so the little motor oil slim swim seems to be doing it again. Yep. Oh, uh, sorry, not motor oil. Um, uh, that's actually oil. a midnight oil. Yeah, midnight oil. But no, mate, I'm very impressed by that performance so, well, so far. Yeah. Lovely rod to weigh the tansui. The tansui is excellent. I think that's half the equation, isn't it? Like oh, it, it is. Such it's, a... It protects that little light leader, casts those little lures a long way if you want it to. Really super sensitive. I might just grab this. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. You were saying that the one you got before is the smallest you've ever landed here. Yeah. What has been... In... This one's a little bit bigger. Little, oh, that's a fatty, mate. That's fat, though. That is a fatty. Beautiful. Two on the board, brother. Two on the board within a matter of minutes. Yep, so we've been here 20 minutes, and that is number two. On the soft baits. On the Z-Man soft baits. Now, Arnie, what's your usual technique for, uh, uh, like, we're fishing in, like, 35 or 40 metres sometimes, yes. which is way beyond what I thought they'd be capable of reaching, and you're fishing, like, 1 20th of a gram, uh, sorry, 1 20th of an ounce um, jig heads, which I, I just wouldn't have imagined being uh, up to it at all. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but you're getting down there, aren't they? Especially especially on a really nice, calm day like this, it's, it doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. No, not at all. So um, today, like this, we've got basically no wind whatsoever, so all we're doing is just dropping the lure straight down beside the boat and watching that line. So you have a little bit of line sitting on top of the water and you can watch it going down and you'll see it as it goes down. If it slowly picks up speed, you know that a trout's picked it up. Just flick your bail arm over, give it a strike, um, and then you're generally hooked up. Otherwise, what we have been doing is on the drop, letting it drop down, watching that line, and then flicking the arm over, giving it a few winds and a twitch, 
and then free spooling again. And quite often we've looked on the sounder, you can actually see the fish following the lure down. And then once it's hit the bottom is when they're typically hitting that lure and, and you're getting that hook up. It takes a little while to get down in, in 35 to 40 meters, <laughs> but it's been definitely worthwhile. And I mean, the conditions out here today are absolutely perfect. Yeah, when the fish are there, they've been onto it pretty quick, eh? Like, it's really just been a, a matter of uh, finding uh, the fish and them being in the close proximity, and they're just taking it. So um, I've been amazed at just how quickly that's, that's um, actually happened. So now that we're on the bottom, all I'm doing is a couple of little winds, a bit of a twitch, yeah, and just free spooling it back down. Yep. So letting more line back out, back down to the bottom. And then once it's on the bottom couple of winds again and a bit of a twitch and then just letting it free spool back down and that's all we've been doing and that's been working really really well for um for getting bites this morning because yeah especially with those bait fish like you know you know uh, from personal experience out in the sea uh, especially like how they do a big dart if they're injured, injured quite badly they tend to just sort of like do an erratic sort of a dance upwards and then they sort of just flutter back down again and that's exactly what the the sort of our techniques promoting isn't it, it is definitely yeah and it, it's just um getting that defensive um action from the from the baits so it's it's been working really well now we've been fishing into uh, 30 to 40 metres, but yesterday I was fishing into uh, Lake Rotowiti and I was in probably a metre and uh, I had on a bad shad and slim swims and everyone there was uh, sitting around trying to catch fish. I'd say there would have been five guys there and fishing that little slim swims in a uh, bad shad, I caught one, uh, only a small one, but I had a real beauty and that was by quite quickly winding in over the shallows. So, right. you know, we've just got um, some lures here that you can use for all sorts of different techniques. So they're going to be pretty versatile. Yeah, definitely, Mark. Well, that, that sounds like a, a heap of fun too, fishing from the shore in real shallow water as well. So it, it is a bit harder here casting in um, to the shallow and working back because it drops off so quickly, your lure isn't staying in contact with the bottom. It's coming up quite high. So that's the reason we're out here and dropping them straight straight down below the boat. Because I, I reckon, <laughs> you know, we can, I, I still think that we're going to have um, quite a few fish um, take just by by targeting those ones that are actually smelting because we've got you know as i said the the bad shad and also the deal which are very smelty type colors and i reckon we could just get, cast them out and uh, just bring them back in as if it really is a little live smelt and i reckon they'll be in for sure yeah definitely and i, and I think the um the pearl glimmer as well will be a great color yep. too yep oh very good mate oh that's awesome what have we got there mark well it took me a while to get a ha to get a handle on this, and uh, yeah, your experience definitely showed um, with the old uh, Z-mans. But finally, I've got myself a fish, and guess what? It's taken a different lure again. What are we using this time? So this time, I've actually got little two and a half inch um, little grubs. Uh, in motor oil, so that, so that midnight oil in motor oil has been going pretty well. Actually, I think you've got the real small, that um, prototype one we've got, the two inch. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah that's oh. even smaller, yeah. I just noticed you've got the two inch on that. Look, how lovely is that, mate? Look at that. That's beautiful, eh? Yeah, certainly this morning, when the fish were there, there were good numbers of them, and uh, we were able to go and you were able to go and hook up really nicely. But it's been uh, much slimmer pickings ever since, and so we've had to just put them in front of fish, and it's been only a few opportunities. But uh, we were just saying how we started seeing fish again, and straight away we catch fish. So yeah, they just have to be there for us for these to work. Oh, it's probably three pounder or so, I'd say three and a half. And, uh, and there's the little lure. Nice. Very pretty little fish. We might just let it go, eh? Yeah, I think so. So today we've been fishing here at Lake Tarawera. Um, we've been fishing these brand new TRD craws. This here is the new molting craw. It's brand new to the Z-Man range here in New Zealand. So this was our first time actually using these baits and we got three fish within probably half an hour of fishing this. 
So I've just been fishing this with the um, the OG mushroom shroom head. This is a 120 ounce head, so really, really light, but it's taken a while to get down, but we're using these really lightweight um, jig heads with the really small hooks. These have got a size four uh, hook on it, um, purely because we're targeting trout. So we don't want a big hook protruding through these baits. So we're using a real small jig head and a small bait, and then just dropping these straight down. Now, the first time you put that down, mate, how long was it before you got your first trout? I'd say within a matter of minutes of, of getting it down. It, it took a few minutes to get down oh, to the bottom. Because wasn't that it? Like, you know, you, basically it took way longer to get down than to get the bite. It was just seconds after you got down, oh, wasn't definitely. it? Definitely. It took a couple minutes to get down. We're fishing in 35 metres from memory, so it took a lot longer to get the lure down than it did to actually get the bite. By the time I got in the bottom, I gave it a few twitches and, um, and it hooked up. So it was pretty much instantly, once it got to the bottom, the fish were there dropped it on top of them and were instantly hooked up because i mean that that is a food source that the fish here are just looking for aren't they they expect little crayfish in here the kura oh definitely there are there's plenty of kura in um Tarawera and all the um surrounding lakes so that's what they're feeding on so the reason we dropped it down is because that's what they're going to be looking at and feeding as well so we offered it to them what i like mate is you know how they've got those claws they're, this is a this is a very buoyant plastic so uh, when it sits on the bottom they actually raise up and those claws are waving around just like a real one would be you know when it's in the defensive mode and it's attracting the fish over to actually go and have a look at it that's right yeah definitely so on the bottom these are actually sitting up like this on the bottom with their claws yeah, raised right. in the air that's right so looking like a, a um a kura in its natural um, you know, placement on the bottom in that defensive mode, ready to, to attack or yep. to defend itself for sure. Absolutely. And, and what other um, shapes have been working well for us, mate? Um, the other shapes that have been working well today have um, have been the um, slim swims, the two and a half inch slim swims. These have been going really, really well today. Um, very first fish was on the midnight oil colour of these. And um, it was, again, within a matter of minutes, we were hooked up on this one as well. So I actually used this a couple of weeks ago here, and it absolutely dominated. So I started the day with the same lure again. Nice. And um, without a doubt, it, it worked flawlessly. So, yeah, caught fish on it, and then we started to change to, to the um, different range of, of soft baits to test out all the rest of them as well. Yeah, that midnight all really, um, uh, you know, it's already well proven itself, but stuff, the, the colours like this one, like Space Guppy, you know what I mean? That's that's just such a cool name anyway, and I could imagine, you know, on a dull day, with just the UV rays coming through, that could actually be spectacular. Now, what else um, have we also done well, buddy? Uh, the TRD minnows. So these here are mm. replicating a smelt that which are already in the lake here. So these here have been going really well. Um, the boys have actually been using these uh, in the salt water. Yeah, it's um, been a winner for us there. Yeah, yeah. And we've got quite big uh, smelt in this lake, so at times that would be exactly what they're looking for, wouldn't they? Definitely. I mean, two weeks ago while I was fishing here, the trout I was catching were actually coughing up smelt, and that's pretty much the mm, size mm. that they, they were coughing up. And they're, they're made to actually Ned rig, which is um, when you just uh, have that rolling style of um, little head down there that allows them to roll, uh, to s sort of wobble on the bottom with their tail up in the air. And you just need to sort of shiver the rod to give them a little bit of a, a wiggling action. And it can be absolutely stunning. So it's going to be interesting to see how they go in the future. As I say, we're still finding our way ourselves. You know, like this is early days for us and already we're finding that they work bloody well. So, yeah, um, you know, this is, this is like a buzz for us to just see, you know, that it, we've got a product in which is really working well. Yeah, it's been absolute blast too, fishing with the soft baits on, on trout. I mean, it's, it's new to us soft baiting for trout and just focusing on the soft baits today with no other lures has been absolutely amazing. It's been like a real buzz um, catching fish, targeting them, finding the fish and then finding out what they're eating and the colours that they're going for today. So today they've been focusing more on the darker colours though. They've been focusing on... Oh, you haven't, you, haven't covered, you haven't covered that, uh, yeah, the motor oil and the little curly tail, have you? No, no. So the little motor oil <coughs> here, the little two and a half inch, uh, marked it really well on this just literally a few minutes ago, um, got a nice sort of three, four pound trout. 
Yeah, because that little tail, that gets going with just a tiny bit of uh, motion, doesn't it? Yeah. So it takes very little on the way down uh, while it's descending, and then while you're jiggling it around on the bottom and lifting and, and um, retrieving it as well. So it uh, looks like a very versatile lure, and I think we're going to do well. I've already done, uh, I, I used it down on the Mackenzie Country Canals in the pink, and it really smashed over the salmon. So oh, I already know that they're good on those. And, of course, you know, salt water as well. So, you know, these, these lures are looking like they've got a really good future. I, I'm, I'm really uh, excited about their prospects for the future. Oh, definitely. I'm a really excited mm -hmm, to get down mm -hmm, to the Mackenzie mm -hmm. country and, and, you know, use these in the canals mm -hmm. as well as try them in, in different rivers and lakes as well. Mm -hmm. I've tried them in the Waikato River too and, and caught a few fish just from Karsip on nice. the shore as well. Yep. So they are uh, um, a brilliant lure to, to use pretty much anywhere, really. All right, Mark, what have we got here, mate? Well, mate, you gave one cast with your TRD craws this morning. I had one cast with the craws now. And I don't know how quickly that was, but just like you, just seconds, mate. Perfect. Just seconds. Looks like it might have come out of his mouth and hooked further down him now. But we're going to let him go anyway. But yeah, that was, that's so good, mate. That was so effective. That, the way that the uh, tail just comes up and just waves around. I, I was trying to work out how I was going to best do it. I figured... Um, that I'd just hop it and let it drop back down again. And I didn't even get to do that. I was on it already. <laughs> awesome. And I mean, it's not like there's, tr there's trout everywhere. And yet... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that awesome light gear, there eh? You go, mate. Love that rod, eh, mate? Yeah. The Tansui is an awesome rod. It's eight foot six, so you've got to be a little bit aware of, you know, the length of it. But it casts like a dream, hooks up really well. Got really nice shock absorption. It's got a little microwave system in it, and uh, which is the guide system here that uh, allows you to have little guides from then on afterwards. And uh, it just casts super well. It uh, definitely is a great little fighting machine and also fishing machine. So yeah, I'll go and get the net under that. Well, I'm going to put that TRD out again. <laughs> have two casts with it, and that's it. Two casts, two, two fish. Two casts, two fish, one each. Perfect. Oops, I'll just come around here. Beautiful. Okay. Swim away the best of the lot. <laughs> <laughs>